friends welcome back to my youtube channel medical classes by dr srinidhi kumar acharya don't forget to subscribe my channel and also please give your valuable comments so as we know uh, we are dealing with the different uh, cases of cuff in children so today we will have another important case this is actually a 6 year old child with a cuff for last 6 month and there is multiple investigations were done and it is negative and there is no benefit from the inhalers also so this is the actual complaint of the mother mother is telling my child is six year old and he has got problems since last six months there is cuff since last six months and multiple investigations were done and everything is negative and uh, we have also given some of the inhalers bronchodilators etc in the form of inhalers and there is no benefit and again mother says that cuff is more during the daytime and in the night hours, there is no much cough. This is quite very interesting. In the night hours, mother is telling, telling that child is almost all comfortable, and, but in the daytime, he has got more cough. All the medications are done and there is no improvement. And child is otherwise active and playful. Even in the daytime also, cough is there, that's a big problem. But otherwise, child is very active and playful. But in the night time, there is no problem. So general condition of the child is also normal. Again, then growth chart also shows the normal. Growth chart is also normal. So this is a total case. In, on examination, general condition is normal. Growth chart, height, weight, etc. is also normal. Child is very active in the daytime and also playful, but cuff is there, which is more disturbing. All the medications were done and there is no any much improvement. Investigations are also normal. Now, how to proceed in this particular case? See, when there is cuff there for six months, it is quite obvious that uh, mother and parents, they usually first think about tuberculosis. So, uh, it has been, um, they, they are preoccupied with that particular thought. Okay, first always they think that uh, tuberculosis, cuff is there since last six months. Okay, that's also in the daytime. So everybody think that it is tuberculosis. But we should know that in this particular case, there is no fever. Okay, there is no fever at all. Only cuff is there. So the tuberculosis cannot occur with the, without a fever. There will be, of course, a mild fever will be there. But in order to rule out the tuberculosis in this particular case, what is important is the constitutional symptoms are very important. Okay, so we cannot find the classical pattern of tuberculosis symptomatology in the childhood tuberculosis. It is different, okay, because of the formation of the primary complex. Mm -hmm. So here, what is important for us is we have to look into the constitutional symptoms. What do you mean by constitutional symptoms? You look at the growth of the child. You look at the weight of the child, appetite of the child, okay, general condition of the child. Okay, whether the child is losing the weight, whether the child is losing the appetite, or whether the child is dull. So these are some of the important clues that gives a history about, uh, the clue about the tuberculosis. Once these three things are not there, child is not dull, he is very active, child is growth is normal, he is not losing the weight and he is having good appetite, everything is fine, still he is having cough, there is not even fever also. Then see, obviously there is no question of tuberculosis at all. But of course why I am telling is clinically when you see parents they come and they are very much worried about but by tuberculosis. Okay, so we also do get such cases very frequently in the OPD. So cough is present. Uh, since last six months, but mother is telling that cuff is not present at night hours. That means when he is going to sleep, he forget about the cuff and there is no cuff at all. But when he is active, this cuff is there. Okay. So he, he is having cuff for six months. Really, if he is having cuff since last six months and he has got some underlying problem, six month duration is a big duration. Okay. Definitely the general condition of the patient will come down. Growth will come down, height, uh, especially weight and general condition and uh, etc. So definitely this is not a case of tuberculosis. Okay, he is not even malnourished. So this is actually a case of habitual cuff. Okay, habitual cuff. All the investigations are normal. In the daytime only there is cuff. Night out there is no cuff. Growth and development is normal. Okay, no relief from the, any of the medicines. Okay, even by the inhalers there is no use. So this is a case of habitual cuff. So with this we conclude today. Thank you very much. In the next class we'll come and I will come again with another important case. So this type of habitual cuff is also quite common in children, and even in adults it is common. In the children also it is common. So therefore I put this case here. This is a case of habitual cuff. I um, 
I think you by this time you know how to identify the habitual cough. Thank you very much.